Hello, anyone and everyone. Welcome to Ed Troll Plays Nuclear Throne. Boom, boom, boom. And dare I say, a fun, hectic, post apocalyptic, roguelike shooter where you play as various characters. They all have different types of gameplay. Each character get, gives the whole run a different feel. We should jump into this. Uh, I've played this game for a while. It came out in 2015. Made by Vlambeer, like, you know, Vladimir, except beer. Okay, maybe not exactly like that analogy. I have never, I never actually touched the Nuclear Throne. I've gotten really close. I lost the Nuclear Throne on this character. This is my best girl, Crystal. That's a lady. You know she's a lady. She ain't a lady unless she's 280, and that's what this lady is. I got gold machine gun on her. I got some stuff that I've unlocked. I don't have a crown. Is bare of head. Is a fair head. We got a fish that can roll. He has more ammo. This one has more XP. He can shield. Everybody has a unique ability. Hey, look. Golden wrench. No, I don't want to be him. All right, well, it looks like I'm uh, showing you how eyes work. So I have a skin from Unlocked and a golden weapon. <laughs> uh, right click. His special ability is he has telekinesis and can just bring everything to him. Suckers. Except with that, you can also get hurt on contact. But it's fine. He normally starts off with a gun, obviously, but, uh, through... This is not our first playthrough of this game. We've had this game for a while. The game came out in 2015. I'm not sure if I... I don't remember if I said that, but I'm just restating it for God who knows why. Why are we doing a video on it now? I don't know. Honestly. Because we do Wednesday's roguelike videos, and, you know, people always talk about Enter the Gungeon, and, uh, as much as I... People don't find out Wizard of Legend as much as I like. A few YouTubers have. So that gives me confidence and hope for Wizard of Legend to grow. And that's the Gungeon. That, that's that's like the premiere. No! I beat the level and killed everything, so I spawned to the next level. Alright, well, we get to pick our abilities. Now, let's see. Every level you get a mutator. Patience, mutate later. Boiling veins, no damage from explosions and fire when they're 4 HP. I think we're good. I'm sure I'll eat those words. Long arms. We have a pipe, so that's probably the best choice. A trigger finger, but we're using pipe. We don't really reload. All right, come to me. I wish for you to come and taste the sweet justice. Ah, he, he got too close. That's fine. Yeah, look at the distance on our swing. We got such an arc now. It's beautiful. Get out of here. Hey, there's a murderer. Oh yeah, one of the cool things about melee weapons in this game is you can. Knock projectiles back, at least the little red ones. <laughs> Turn around, don't look at me. <laughs> Green ones we can break, red ones we can tend it back. You can also walk straight into enemy projectiles, that's one of our favorite moves. Give me your sweet nutrients. And I saw that red chest earlier, I didn't want to grab it because... I don't know if you saw that tooltip, it said... Grabbing stuff, or uh, try not grabbing a weapon, which I found out recently. Uh, like literally yesterday when I played this game, because I decided I should play some Nuclear Throne and then record some. And I mean, here we are. Let's look at our level two mutators. Or yeah, recycled land. Most hit bullets become ammo. That's good with like a mini gun or something. But we have a pipe and a crossbow. Let's see, corpses fly and hit harder. That's definitely what we're gonna get. Strong spirit prevents death once. It's pretty useful, but like, I mean, in reality, we don't want to ever get hit, right? So, like, do we really need it? And we should probably avoid it until we actually take damage. Recharges at full HP in the next area. Extra chest spot. I don't need that. Yeah. Moving in slowly. We're gonna do some sweet stuff. There's like every like level has like a secret room. Like, there's like you know level one the desert. Uh, and you have three levels of that, then you fight a boss on the third level. Sir, come here. Come to me. <laughs> and... There's like secret, there's secret like, maps and like various things you can do on each level. Which is pretty fun, and... Lets you try and do like sweet speedruns. The reason I have gold weapons... That's the big bad reason, I mean. Oh my goodness, he just took damage like a dummy! Give it a stupid! Scorpion! Oh no, there's a guy shooting at us. That's it. That's the boss. We can ignore him, right? Sir? Don't tackle. Just shoot your gun. Yeah! 
Yeah, like, we can do this a lot. Oh, we're low HP. We need to stop being stupid. Ah! Alright, see? That's all skill, finesse, and our whole name tattooed across our chest. And we leave the weapon chest there. It said leave weapon chest because sometimes if you leave a weapon chest, the next portal, it'll be a big weapon chest. Now we in the sewers. Oh, yeah, I never really finished explaining about the secret room whole thing. Basically, there's secret rooms on every every one of these floors. There's a way to get to a secret area. The oasis is like if you run by everything and it's open like all the chests and don't kill any monsters. You just, on the first level, you can get sent to like some random underwater oasis, which is interesting. Here, we just need an explosive device. We can blow up like a manhole cover. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, your rat. Rats are all melee boys. They're really... They like to touch you. And it's non-consensual, so I don't... Whoa, that's a big mutant rat. <laughs> Come here, Sparky. Oh, yeah, they don't drop experience. Rads count as experience, and they do not drop any. That's a good guy. Oh, that's not all the bots, right? Oh, that's a mimic! That scared me, actually. Okay, cool. We got what is it, a pop gun that uses basic guns. It's not that much damage. First of all, we always keep our golden weapon. We have a skill specifically for the golden weapon. Ooh, a pop gun. Pop rifle. Okay, it's a burst. Grenade launcher. Unfortunately, we got the grenade launcher. We can go and check out the secret room. Who's over there? I don't give a fuck about you. We're gonna do the secret room. Oh no, we almost hit ourselves. Friendly fire is enabled. We're under 4 HP, and we said we wouldn't need to you know, eat our words, why don't we? Right, there we go, into the manhole cover. Secret room! We're basically going to skip past um, <laughs> two more levels of the sewers. we right, hammerhead. And these are where stuff starts. Like, last of us get 4 HP and some ammo. We kind of need that. We're considering that. Laser brain, the energy weapons deal more damage. Well, a good thing I have a grenade launcher and a pipe, which is not energy. Hammerhead pushed through a limited number of walls. Pretty much Cobra Clutch lets you dig in and make little hidey holes. Enemies have less HP. Honestly, the smartest move is to heal ourselves, right? Hello, assailants. Right. Is that a mimic? I got scared because the last one was a mimic. All right, we don't really need that. So this secret level is, uh, we're in, uh, there's a bunch of pizza stuff around the sewers, and there's turtles. If you do not know what this is referencing sorry fam she's too young for me and, and there's a rat in the corner beautiful references cowabunga dude i'm pretty sure they don't say cow do they say cowabunga dude i don't remember that's embarrassing i haven't look at that expert er, subverting expectations we thought we we're gonna do really bad but we end up taking a detour and taking the scene room all the way to the final areas Another reason that explosive stuff is useful because there's fire all over this fucking place. Fire traps, cars that blow up. You're a mimic, I knew it! I'm so smart. Cars that blow up, salamanders that breathe fire. A lot of not kosher things. Let's see. We're just gonna get rid of this fire trap. And this car. And this car. Wait, can I do this? Let me see something. Oh, I can! I can play baseball. I'm pretty sure I knew that before, but I mean, who's to say? Oh, sniper! Wesley Snipes? <laughs> Sir, that guy with the stick was slowly being telekinesis pulled to us. I'm, you see this energy coming from me? I'm pulling. Come to me. Sniper, no. Wait, I can... Come on, sniper. Yeah, sniper. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess the sniper got hit by a deflection. There's the sniper. And there's the guy with the stick again. Yikes. That guy could have fucked me up. Look at that sneaky boy. He's sitting there pretending to be a hostage. And he hits really hard. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, we're going we're gonna to beat the sniper at, our, at his own game. Sure. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> sniper? Hell yeah. Justice. Oh, okay, we got the next level. That was the final guy. Level up, level up. Dude, this is going pretty... Ooh, we don't have the crossbow anymore. That's pivotal for a crossbow. Laser beam, patience, more HP for med kits. Let's well, let's let's show some patience because we don't have crossbows, we don't have lasers, and fuck HP. 
he says, <laughs> dooming himself. Hey, yeah, it's kind of me. Idiots! My psychic powers convinced you to come to this wall. Come to this wall. Back off, assailants. The cars bouncing around concern me. Not gonna lie. Alright, everybody just get a little bit closer. Sniper just sniping. Oh look, a med, a med pack is what we need. <laughs> Imagine if it was stronger. Who could have saw this coming? The reason you would take uh, that patience trait is that's the only way I believe you can get 10 mutations in a match. And like normally you're only going to get 9, but if you take the patience one, and, and you know, you reward yourself for some patience, you get extra stuff. I don't want to get killed by a sniper, so I'm going to not die to a sniper. Fuck. See, I don't want to go through this right here. I wanted to show off before the level ended is like a, a special. The time police will get pissed off if you hit their shrine, which I'm not going to do on this run because. <laughs> I'm not going to do on this run. Fuck. No damage from explosions and fire when they're 4 HP. I think we're good. Strong spirit prevents death once. It's pretty useful, but like, I mean, in reality, we don't want to ever get hit, right? So, like, do we really need it? the time police will get pissed off if you hit their shrine, which I'm not gonna do on this run. I'm not gonna do on this run. <laughs> That's why I said I wouldn't do it on this run. What have we done to ourselves? God damn it. <laughs> Ah, all right, let's play as one more run. We're gonna show off Krista, who we meant to show off, our favorite girl. She's starting off with her machine gun. Everybody with a gold machine gun, I got to like the third secret area and got a special golden weapon. Normally they all start off with like a silly thing. Hey, that's my shield mode. Cannot hurt, what you cannot touch. It's gonna be a little bit different because this character is just gonna bust on nuts. Actually, no, let's speed run. We're trying this. We're gonna go and we're gonna show you the first secret area of the first area. Let's go. Can't stop me on crystal. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Alright, and there's the last thing, sir. Got it. Ooh, this is a secret. Alright, that summons a big bandit. Go, 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 go. Just destroy this guy. Overwhelming firepower. Did we win? I don't think we win. I don't think we got the secret level. I'm pretty sure you have to do all that very fast. Or maybe you're supposed to not kill any opponents while you're killing the bandit, but there were like a bunch of hooligans near me. If that's the case, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> I don't think we did it. I think we done goofed. Wait, maybe we did it. I. It seems unlikely. Prevents death once. Get full HP some ammo. No, we're getting hammered. Fuck them. Give me. We're not on the water level, it's 2-1. Dang it. All right, whatever. We're gonna move through. We go as hard as we can. We got a gun, this is a roguelite. There's a lot of rats coming. That guy's a damn filthy animals. And one HP, one rat next to us. 75 shots, a dream. Let's go. Get off of me, mutant rats. Assailant, I thought I killed you. All right, we're not gonna do that again. I think this is a solid enough run to give you an example of what Nuclear Throne is. Nuclear Throne, the fun post-apocalyptic roguelike game where each character gives a different trait. This character can roll, has more ammo. This character is tanky, can block bullets with his body. This one has telekinesis powers, can pull you. This one has no HP, but can blow up bodies to do massive damage. Massive. Plant, he can root people, makes it really easy to kill people. Young Venus makes the dirty money pop pop. This guy dual wields weapons, robot upgrades weapons, and eats weapons. The chicken starts off with a samurai sword. Very fun game. Highly recommend it. It's free in what? Came out in 2015. It was at, it's out on PS4, PS3, Vita, PC, Linux, Mac. Basically played on anything you can. It's only $12. I highly recommend it. If you never heard of it, I highly recommend it. I promise you'll have fun. Tons of replayability. Only $12.
Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I appreciate it. All the comments really up the channel, and they make my heart happy. I love you guys. This was Ed Troll with his Wednesday roguelite videos. I'll catch you guys next time. Maybe next week with I don't know. Let's maybe Wizard Legend. Streets of Rogue, maybe. Ah. Alright, whatever. We'll figure out what it is. I'll see you guys Friday, and then I'll see you guys in the other normal days of the week. Peace out.